So my dad wants to know, what where do you see your political future going? I know you oh, joked earlier, like, oh, I yeah. sound like I'm running for governor. I've been yeah. giving you like giving you a hard time for years now, saying, no, oh, no, you're going to yeah. be governor, man. Do, is that something in your horizon? You want to go to that level, or do you like yeah. it more local? Well, there's seasons in life for these types of things, I think. And had yeah. you asked me this exact question five or six years ago, yeah. I am I. 100% sure I would have given a different answer because yeah. five or six years ago I was thinking more along that path of thinking about running whether yeah. it was for governor or something else or trying to get to Augusta or yeah. DC at some point and I'm sort of in a trough with that at the moment because I've got a five-year-old a three-year-old and a three-month-old at home and all my energy is in them yeah I love my day job I work at a, at a bank first national bank in my day job I really am fulfilled by that and I love local city council yeah and right now, I'm just at a trough in it. And and yeah. honestly, as bad as everything is in Washington, D.C., yeah. to a lesser degree, Augusta, yeah. it sort of just made me disengage with politics a little bit. Yeah, I'm sorry to say that I haven't had this reaction. I'm, I'm with you. Yeah. I'm with you. I, a lot of people right now, and I admire these people, they're more motivated than ever to get involved with stuff because of how bleak things are, especially in Washington, D.C. Yeah. It's made me disengage. Yeah. And I'm still doing a ton locally and I got my focus is with my family. Yeah. I think probably the itch will come back again at some point. Yeah. But also I don't know, the political discourse right now is not totally my style. I'm sort yeah. of moderate. I'm yeah. sort of You're not an angry yeah jerk. <laughs> it's red meat on both sides of the aisle. Yeah. Like I feel like right now the political spectrum ten to twenty percent of people on both sides are as fired up as they've ever been. Yeah. And everybody else is varying levels of disengagement with it. Yeah. And I'm oh, like, I've, I've checked out. Sometimes yeah. I stop watching news and I'm like, well, I know it's just going to be 24 hour Trump. Like, I, yeah. don't, I don't care anymore. That's me too. That's me too. It. Yeah. And I think the itch might come back at some point, but yeah. I also don't see the partisanship and the crazy language and in, in, in the diversion of policy. The Republicans are going further to the right. Democrats are going further to the left. Yeah, I'm not at home in either political party, in either yeah. camp, really. I yeah, mean, yeah. Same thing for me. Yeah. I share things in both that I like. And it's yeah, like... and that's just not in vogue right now in politics. No, the pendulum swings back though, so yeah. you never know. But before I had kids, I would have said different, given a different answer. Yeah. And God's yeah. honest truth, I'm not itching for it right now. Yeah, well, that's the thing. I saw something in my news feed the other day that said for parents when they have the child, it takes six years after that child is born before their sleep schedule returns <laughs> yeah. to normal. Yeah. So let's give it, you know, 15 years to see where you're at. Once your kids are like high school yeah. age and stuff, maybe you'll get that yeah. that uh, itch again. Because I have the same thing for me. I've gone through ups and downs of like, I'm going to get into politics. And then I'm like, no yeah. way. Well, you should think about running for city council. <laughs> if, if your seat opens up, I'll run for yeah. city council. Mine's going to open up in 2020. <laughs> I'm termed out in 2020. So. Oh, man. I can't yeah. believe we're getting old that you've termed out. Jeez. I know. How did this happen to us, but. Yeah, but we could take 10 years off from politics and yeah. I could run for something higher up and still be young in politics. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, age is age, num the number's weird, but yeah. Yeah. yeah, right now I'm just happy to be doing my thing locally and I try to get I get like creative outlet whether it's conversations like this or just social yeah. media stuff and yeah. I don't know. I'm I'm doing fine with it, but cool. I would definitely be following the 2020 elections just out of curiosity and the political nerd in me, but yeah, no plans myself to run for anything. Yeah. Anytime soon. Well, you heard it here first. He's running for governor. <laughs> you just watched a segment of the show, Chasms of the Mind. To see the full episode, click the link below.